So this is Santiago, the capital of the Veraguas province in Panama. Really an expensive place, as you can see from the movie prices here. $1.75 to $2.50, not too shabby for first-run movies. Stores here tend to be more of your big bargain department stores, sort of everything in one store from cosmetics to jewelry to, well, as you can see here, household items, sort of everything under one roof and really affordable. Um, interestingly, though, they have a lot of imports, a lot of the items that um, maybe some of us can't live without. I, for example, like my, I like my flaxseed, as you can see here, and my uh, granola bars from back home. They have things like soya milk, and as you can see, really inexpensive as far as the prices go. Yes, soya milk. <laughs> People are so helpful here. And, uh, you know, a good variety of everything. I, well, I won't say that you can get every single thing in the world that you could imagine here, um, which is what it seems like in Panama City sometimes, but I've got to say I was really impressed by the variety that I saw just all around town in terms of little places to eat, in terms of the supermarket like the one I visited here. You've got the national items. Those are local cheeses and corn cakes or tortillas as we call them here, but then they also had a lot of the sort of cheeses that I am used to from back home. And these are also local cheeses, cream cheeses, that sort of thing. Yogurt, you can see you've got the international brands. Juice, two for $1.10. Wow, really inexpensive here. And uh, the fruit, amazing. This is passion fruit. You may have never seen one before. 60 cents a pound for the passion fruits. They're gorgeous, really tangy, delicious fruit. Papayas, of course, very common. We eat those for breakfast. My favorite Persian limes, those are seven cents a pound there. Even furniture right here in the same shop. And you've got everything from upscale, slightly expensive to the cheaper items. Whoop, there we go. Maternity wear, bikinis. Check this out. Tank tops, $1.75 each. Kind of makes you wonder how come you pay ten dollars at some stores you've got all the banks here this is the normal or the normal school which is where the teachers of santiago and surrounding towns come to get their training this is sort of one of the nicer areas of town where the students come here you've got the stadium there were world cup games going on there a week after i visited the church that's the convention center of Santiago, a Cuban restaurant. Here we have a supermarket chain called Super Carne. And then some sample homes. Homes in Santiago can run you as little as $30,000 to $60,000. Your typical Panamanian home like these generally on one level, flat roof. Um, very common to have more outdoor areas and then finished up my day with a wonderful lunch. This is probably the most expensive restaurant in Santiago, the Galleria Hotel and Restaurant. Dishes here can get as expensive as seven to eight dollars, and that's probably as much as you're gonna spend. Take a look at this gorgeous Corvina, which is like sea bass, and a whole plateful of fried green plantains. Bon appetit!